I know a lot of y'all heard about this um this new story as well. This is a dusty um going around murdering homeless people. This is this case is actually eerily similar to the other Dusty in the suit who was going around murdering um homeless people. That was in I believe Miami, but this case is re relatively very recent. Um and they finally caught him and I just want y'all to look, watch the news, watch the newscast and then I want you to see who who you see in the clip. Targeting homeless people in New York City and Washington, D.C. is being held without bond. Gerald Brevard went before a judge in Washington for the first time, and authorities reveal new details about the evidence in the case. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles has more. This black puffer coat, pants, hoodie, and sneakers are the clothes police say Gerald Brevard III was wearing when he went on a merciless shooting spree against homeless men in New York and D.C., killing one man in each city. The 30-year-old was in court Wednesday afternoon, now officially charged with first-degree murder in the nation's capital. Brevard's attorney argued that the 30-year-old should be released after his arrest and takedown at this D.C. gas station Tuesday morning, challenging the eyewitnesses who ID'd his client as the suspect with varying descriptions. But in court documents released today, investigators focused squarely on what Brevard was allegedly wearing during both the D.C. and New York shootings. They also say he was wearing the same outfit in an Instagram post during the shooting spree with the caption, feeling devilish, feeling godly. And in court, prosecutors say Brevard's cell phone pings him at places near the scene of the shootings. If the judicial system would actually step in and give the people help that they need, then maybe it won't go to this next level. Brevard's cousin spoke with a reporter in D.C. who said he suffers from mental illness. I was glad that it was over. A judge did rule that Brevard should be held without bail, citing he was already on parole and wanted on another warrant at the time of his arrest. A gun has not been recovered, but investigators say ballistic links the D.C. shootings to the New York shootings, where Brevard is yet to be arraigned. So there you have it. We obviously see who the mammy was in the clip talking about some mental illness. Listen here. On a biopsychosocial perspective, okay, but let's talk about the real complexities of the mind. He sat there and said on Instagram, feeling devilish, feeling godly, so committing crime make him feel well. He was make it makes him feel good. So he was well aware of what the what he was doing, okay? Talking about some if the judicial system steps in, if the judicial system steps in and really locks these animals up and keeps them where they belong, which is off the streets, and really find something else to do with them because they need a purpose because this ain't it. Let me calm down. I just can't take the mammy and bullshit. You know, talking about um like what do you want them to do like where what he wasn't raised right like why do the judicial system got to step in the judicial system is is reactive not proactive y'all should have handled that long ago but anyway i just every time i turn around it's something else you know going on and you saw in the news clip she had the three kings standing in the background so obviously you know she probably was trying to keep it cute, but let's let's not do that. Mental illness, my ass. But y'all stay safe out here, cause the shit is hectic.